In the last presentation, we saw arithmetic operators and we have understood them in details. Now, in this presentation, we will understand precedence and associativity of arithmetic operators. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is precedence and associativity of arithmetic operators. After this, we will see the homework problem of this presentation. Let's first understand what is precedence and then we will understand what is associativity of arithmetic operators. Let's see what is precedence. Precedence tells the order in which the operations should be performed on operands in an expression. So, precedence helps us in telling the order of evaluation of different operators in an expression. It might be possible that we may have multiple operators in an expression. In that case, precedence helps us in telling the order of evaluation because order matters. We cannot just go and solve the expression without knowing the order of evaluation. So, order of evaluation is told by precedence and we will see how. After understanding the meaning of precedence, we will now understand the meaning of associativity. Associativity tells the order of evaluation of the operators with same precedence in an expression. It might be possible that some operators have same precedence. In that case, precedence cannot tell us the order of evaluation of those operators. In this case, associativity comes into picture. Associativity tells the order of evaluation of the operators with same precedence in an expression. I hope the idea of precedence and associativity is clear up to this point. Now, let's see one table where I will list down all the arithmetic operators and I will let you know what is the precedence of each and every operator and what is the associativity of those operators. So, let's see the table now. In the first row, I will list down the operator which has the highest precedence among all. And in the last row, I will list down the operator or operators with the lowest precedence. Associativity of each operator will be shown here. So, now let's see all the operators one by one. The first operator in the list is parentheses. Parentheses has the highest precedence among all the operators. That is why I have put this operator here in the first row itself. Associativity of this operator is left to right, which means that if we have more than one group of parentheses in an expression, then the evaluation order will be from left to right in an expression. We will read the expression from left to right and when we encounter the first set of parentheses, we will evaluate that. And in this way, we will evaluate the rest of the parentheses as well. So, parentheses has the highest precedence and the associativity is left to right. The second operator in this list is exponent operator or the power operator. This operator has associativity from right to left and of course, as this is the second operator in this list, this operator has higher precedence compared to other operators but it has the lower precedence than this operator. So, this operator comes after this operator. This means if in an expression we have parentheses and exponent operator, then first the parentheses will be resolved and then the exponentiation will be performed. I hope the idea is clear what is precedence and how the order of evaluation occurs. After this operator, in this third row, we have these two operators. These are unary operators, unary plus and unary minus. We are well aware about what these operators do. The order of evaluation of these operators will be left to right. This operator has right to left associativity. This operator is different from other operators. The only operator with associativity from right to left in Python. All the other operators have associativity from left to right. These two operators are also evaluated from left to right. Now, here associativity comes into picture if let's say in an expression we have these two unary operators. Then in that case, the associativity will tell us the order of evaluation. 
These two operators have same precedence that is why I have put them in the same group. So unary plus and unary minus have same precedence and the order of evaluation will be told by associativity in this case. That is the order of evaluation will be left to right. I hope the idea is clear. Now the next set of operators in this list is multiplication, division, flow division and modulus. These operators have same precedence but these operators have lower precedence compared to these operators. The associativity is from left to right. If in an expression let's say we have multiplication and division and if we read the expression from left to right and if we encounter that the multiplication operator is coming before the division then this will be evaluated first. So associativity tells us which operator in the same group will be evaluated first. After this in this list we have plus and minus. These are binary plus and minus operators which means we are talking about addition and subtraction. These operators have lowest precedence among all and the order of evaluation will be from left to right. I hope this is clear. So these are all the arithmetic operators and their associativity. Now we will see one example expression to help us understand how precedence and associativity works in real life. So let's see one example. Here in this example expression, we have 10 plus 5 minus 8 divided by 2. So in this expression, we have multiple operators. The order of evaluation is very important. We know that division has greater precedence than plus and minus. These two operators have the lowest precedence. We have already seen this. Hence, division will be performed first. So, first 8 divided by 2 will be performed. 8 divided by 2 is 4.0. We must remember that the operator was division. Hence, the result must be a floating point value. That is why we are getting 4.0 here, not just 4. Okay? Now, we have 10 plus 5 minus 4.0. Here, we have plus and minus. These two operators have same precedence. This means, now associativity comes into picture. And we know that the order of evaluation of addition and subtraction is from left to right. So we need to read this expression from left to right. So first we are seeing 10 plus 5. This means we need to evaluate this first. So here 10 plus 5 needs to be evaluated which gives us 15. After this we need to evaluate 15 minus 4.0 which gives us 11.0. So this is the final result so obtained. And this is what we can say is the answer for the expression. We are done with precedence and associativity of arithmetic operators. Now we are heading towards the homework problem of this presentation. Now it is your turn to solve the expression on your own. So determine the result of the following expression. So the expression is in front of you. Your job is to evaluate this expression and find out the answer and post your answer in the comment section. So we have seen the homework problem of this presentation as well and we have understood what is precedence and associativity of different arithmetic operators. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.